All right, so this is problem five, chapter two out of the textbook. It says, how fast must an object move before its length appears to be contracted by one half its proper length? And I just drew this little rocket. It could be anything, but that's what I drew. Now, the equation we'll be using is L equals L naught over gamma where gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus beta squared. And beta, so these are two different separate things, is v over c. So just the notation. So really, L is equal to L naught, the square root of 1 minus, I'm going to call it beta, squared. But in the question, it mentions that the length appears to be one half its proper length. In other words, what this is saying here is L equals L naught over two, one half the proper length. L naught is your proper length. So this is really L naught over two equals L naught square root of one minus beta squared. Obviously, if we divide out, the L naughts drop. And if you square both sides, you will get 1 fourth equals 1 minus beta squared. Beta squared is equal to 1 minus a fourth, which is just 3 fourths. Okay. And beta squared is V squared over C squared, like we defined it earlier, is equal to 3 fourths. Then v squared is 3 over 4 c squared. And squaring both sides, you get the square root of 3 over 4 times c. Which, uh, if you plug that in here, if you put it in your calculator, that's equal to 0.866c or about 86%, 87% the speed of light. So this was a pretty straightforward length contraction as long as you understood the wording that L is equal to L naught over two. After that, it's just an algebra problem. So pretty straightforward length contraction problem. Hopefully that helps. If it did, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because I will be posting more of these videos going through the textbook. Um, so I think that would be very beneficial to you. Make sure to subscribe and like.